Update. Everybody, everybody, this is Basil Chapman, and this is the last trading day of the week. And uh, Christmas Eve, we're looking at here. Well, Christmas Eve will be tomorrow. We've got, uh, we're off tomorrow, and we're looking at the Dow up 210. Wish everyone a, a Merry Christmas. We're looking at the Dow up 212 at 35,966, getting close to the 36,189. If we can go above that, that'll start a leg C. That'll be very good. Yes, I've drawn the arch formation in to say there's a chance we make a second arch formation. Uh, but so far, this is all acting very well uh, for subscribers to my opening call. We did go long uh, early Tuesday morning before the opening. For, of the Dow, we added to our, our core long position, long-term position, we added a trading position, and we'll just see where this is going. I, this is one of those times where I don't know yet whether we're going right you know, soon, within the next two weeks, to start our, our trip to the downside underneath 34,700, or this actually tries to an all-time high. So far, the technicals are improving, but they're not great. The S&P, on the other hand, is so close to an all-time high at 4723, 20 points, and it tests the old high of 4743. Very good action, helping the weekly chart a lot. Look at the QQQ. It's, it's been struggling. It isn't as good as the others in the chart formation, but it's acting very well today up at $1.84. 395, we'll talk a little bit more about this, how I'm going to raise the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. Now you've got other levels to, to look at. So if by any time next week we get to 401, that's very good action. Must hold 391 support on the short term. Looking at the IWM, the IWM, Russell 2000, really struggling. Yes, it's up 32, but it's very, very weak. We're looking also at gold, which tries to get a rally, and then it just kind of fails. It's 200-period moving average. Look at it. It's like a magnet. It's like no matter what happens on the upside, how far it goes, even 1880, it comes back down and goes under. And even if it goes down to the 1770s, it comes right back. And here it is at 1806, struggling at that 200-period moving average. Uh, look at crude oil crude oil is acting quite nicely but also it's up against the 50 period moving average not going anywhere but not breaking down so tlt we want to talk about when we get back here tlt is down a dollar 29 therefore yields are going a little higher this is going to be very important i suspect we're going to see some selling towards the end of the day we'll see what happens i'll be back for my tiger technicians out check out the uh, tiger 